Hello students, welcome to Biosmart Academy. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about antigen processing. That is how antigen is processed and how it was presented by the MSC molecule to T cell. Okay, so before starting this lecture, I just want you to remind that go and watch my previous lecture because I made this lecture for you all and this lecture is very very important from examination point of view for CSIR, for GATE, for DBT, for ICMR, all biological science examination point of view. These lectures are very very important and share this channel to all those students who are preparing for all this important examination because they will definitely get benefited from my videos. So please share and subscribe my channel and if you like my video then please comment then please comment so that I can know that uh, how much you like my videos. Okay. So let's start today's topic antigen processing and presentation this topic is most important topic from examination point of view and this topic is also important for your msc for your msc okay first as we all know that b cell basically bind to antigen okay and produce antibodies and produce antibodies but if we see the t cell T cell basically does not bind antigen. Okay, does not bind the proper antigen. They basically bind the peptide part of that antigen. Peptide, small peptide. So, it means the antigen need to break into peptides. Okay, antigen need to break into uh, peptides. Then only, then only T cell will bind to that peptides. Then only T cell will bind to this peptide. Okay, so how this breaking occur? How this processing occur how the presentation occur today we we look into this uh, area so that you get clear concept about this okay so basically t cell receptor recognize antigens that is bound to msc molecule that is bound to msc molecule okay as we know that basically tc cell tc cell basically belongs to what class 1 msc as I already taught, taught you in the previous classes. That's why I remind you that please go and watch my previous lectures. Okay, TC basically belongs to class 1 MSC. That is CD8+. Plus, CD8+. Plus. While TH basically belongs to class 2 MSC. Class 2. Class 2 MSC. Class, class 2 MSC. Class 2 MSC. Okay, class 2 MSC. Please understand this. And that is CD8+. 4 plus CD 4 plus so please remind this okay so basically these are two things that I want to discuss with you in details how it uh, how they get uh, uh, this MSC okay so both TC and TS cells can recognize antigen only when it is presented by self MSC and self MSC means what for TC the self MSC is what and for TS the self MSC is what uh, for TC the self MSC is class 1 MSC while for TH the self MSC is class 2 MSC. So basically these two class of MSC are the self MSC for TC and TH. Okay. So they recognize antigen when when this self MSC present to this to uh, TC to uh, and when class 2 molecule present to TH then only they can recognize the antigen through their self MSC uh, that is for TC the self MSC is class 1 for TH the self MSC is class 2 next C CD4 as I already told you CD4 basically TS cell as I already told you that recognize class 2 MSC molecule on APCs clear while CD8 T cell recognize class 1 MSC on target cell okay so this is basic concept see uh, I uh, clear you by drawing a diagram see CD4 okay CD4 what CD4 plus belong to what TH cell okay we know that and TH means that is class 2 MSC that is class 2 MSC okay that is class 2 MSC and this class 2 MSC was presented by the uh, this class 2 MSC was uh, basically came from the APCs okay in case of CD8 now let, uh, let look at this CD8 plus that is TC that is class 1 MSC 
and that is target cell okay that is target cell so basically this is the basic concept that you need to understand and remember okay this is a basic concept that was written in these two lines please read it out okay now next so all these event so all these event which are involved first in generation of peptide okay first in generation of peptide uh, from the antigen then that binding of that peptide to the msc molecule and display of the peptide msc molecule on the surface of t cell or t t cell are collectively known as processing and presentation okay so basically okay i make you uh, clear more by uh, the diagrammatic representation okay that is what is antigen processing and presentation see the first of all what the antigen should be fragmented into peptide okay so first it should be fragmented into peptide okay then the peptide will bind to the msc molecule either it bind to class 1 msc or it bind to class 2 msc okay then it means what it means peptide that is antigenic part of that uh, uh, the fragment part uh, that is the fragment of that antigenic part that is peptide that was broken how it was done that i will uh, teach uh, now only in the next slide okay that is the peptide basically bind to class 1 msc when it bind to class 1 msc it moves to tc and when it bind to class 2 msc it moves to th where the processing is done so this all factors together forms the antigen processing that is this processing and when this uh, this peptide bind to this um, msc molecule this msc molecule basically present the peptide to tc cell present the peptide to the tc cell and ts cell so collectively this is known as antigen processing and presentation antigen processing and presentation so this is a basic concept collectively known as antigen processing and presentation okay so i think i make you clear this concept very clearly clear uh, so if you have any doubt then ask me in the comment section i will always therefore help you okay now next topic see as i asked you a question that how do peptide derive from protein get associated with msc molecule okay means the peptide okay as i already told you about the peptide okay so the peptide how it get associated with the msc molecule msc molecule okay how it get asso associated with msc molecule either class 1 either class 1 or class 2 okay either class 1 or class 2 how this peptide get associated with either class 1 or class 2 msc molecule okay so basically the basic question is that okay so when this peptide get associated with class 1 and class 2 molecule then this peptide is basically present to uh, t cell if it bind to the class 1 then it present to tc and if bind to the class 2 then it present to th and therefore the whole process is collectively called antigen processing that is the antigen first process into peptide and bind to msc and this msc is present by the tc or to the ts cell depending on which class of msc it was bind so this process is collectively known as antigen uh, processing and presentation that is present to this tc or th okay so this is basic concept that i taught you earlier uh, in the earlier slides okay in the earlier slides but uh, but how how the question is that how the work is done how the work is done so let look at the answer see basically the protein antigens protein antigens means the peptide which are going to present is basically belongs to two categories two categories one is exogenous one is endogenous one is endogenous okay so one by one we will discuss this see first of all we discuss about the endogenous antigen okay first of all we discuss about the endogenous antigen okay endogenous see first of all i want to uh, uh, clear you with a diagrammatical representation then i read this point okay so that you get clear concept okay see see first of all you should know that endogenous okay endogenous means what endogenous means that is it must be represented tc because endogenous means what endogenous means in the inside of the cell means it basically refers to the virus or or tumor infected cells okay and this 
uh, and on this cell basically on this cell basically which class molecule which class molecule works basically works class 1 msc basically class 1 msc work okay so this is the endogenous okay now how the pathway is uh, gone through i will discuss this in detail okay see first of all first of all if we uh, if you see this is the outer layer okay this is the outer layer and this is the cytoplasmic layer okay this is the cytoplasmic layer this is the outer layer okay this is the outer layer this is the outer layer okay this is the outer layer okay and this is the cytoplasmic layer see endogenous means the antigen is present inside the cell that is cytoplasm okay now this antigen this is the antigen this antigen is broken into fragments okay this antigen is broken into fragments these are the fragments okay so there is an enzyme which broke it this antigen into fragment and this enzyme name is name is proteasome this enzyme name is protea proteasome okay this enzyme name is proteasome okay see i discuss about the endogenous pathway and endogenous pathway means antigen is present inside the cell this is antigen okay i represent it in blue color antigen and this antigen was broken by the proteasome okay this antigen was broken by the proteasome enzyme and it become fragmented this is a fragmented antigen now this fragmented antigen was transported by a transporter enzyme that is tap okay that is tap what is the full form of tap the full form of tap is noted down transporter associated transporter t for transporter means it will going to transport this antigen associated with antigen processing p for processing clear now this fragmented antigen will be transported into er okay why er because in er class 1 msc molecule is present this is the class 1 msc molecule which is basically present in er okay now when this fragmented antigen is came okay when this fragmented antigen is came it basically bind to this antigen okay see bind to this antigen okay now when this uh, association is occur between the class 1 msc molecule and peptide that is fragmented antigen that is known as peptide when this association is occur okay then this peptide along with this msc that is present in black color will move to what part will move to golgi okay will move to golgi will move to golgi okay this will move to golgi clear this will move to golgi okay clear now and from golgi it was passed to the plasma membrane it was passed to the plasma membrane where it get processed so this is all about the endogenous pathway i think i make your concept clear if you have any doubt then please ask me in the comment section so this is all about the endogenous pathway see the points first proteasome degrade the protein to peptide as i already told you then transporter associated with antigen that is tap move the peptide into er okay then peptide associated with msc molecule in the er clear and did peptide with msc then move to golgi i already told you and when the peptide passes with msc from golgi to pm where it get processed so this is very easy endogenous pathway i think you got clear concept if you have any doubt please ask me in the comment section i will make you clear now next pathway is exogenous pathway okay exogenous pathway so first of all see this exogenous pathway in detail with the help of a diagram okay see first of all we know that uh, exogenous means what exogenous mean means i already uh, told you about the outer layer it means the antigen is present in the outer layer this is the antigen here outer layer and antigen should be inserted inside see for ex for for exogenous pathway the process is little bit different from endogenous because msc will be present in the er okay msc will be present in the er and it was blocked by a invariant chain okay there will, will be a invariant chain why because if it was not blocked through an invariant chain then then many other molecule can bind with that class 2 msc okay see so first of all if we look at this er pathway okay first of all look at this er where the msc molecule is present where this msc molecule is present okay where this msc molecule is present 
see this is the msc molecule uh, i draw the msc molecule with the help of red okay red ink this is the msc molecule okay this is the msc molecule okay and this black in color is the invariant chain okay this invariant chain basically block this invariant chain basically block the block the class 2 msc okay class 2 msc see this is the class 2 msc class 2 msc class 2 msc okay class 2 msc this is the class 2 msc and in black this is the invariant chain okay this is the invariant chain okay this is the invariant chain okay this is the invariant chain so i think you you get clear now so please note it down this is invariant chain which basically block the class 2 msc in the er this is the er okay this is the er this is the er this is the er okay this is the er this is the er in yellow color so basically class 2 msc molecule is blocked by the invariant chain basically class 2 molecule is blocked by the invariant chain in the er okay and antigen is present outside the cell outside the cell okay now now what happened msc complex is rooted through golgi to endocytic pathway okay now this this part of msc now i uh, remove all this okay so that i can make you clear more okay now this part of the msc okay this part of the msc is rooted is rooted through Golgi okay means this move to the Golgi okay this move to the Golgi this move to the Golgi see I make you clear more okay this uh, this move to the Golgi see this is MSC here and this is the invariant chain okay so it is uh, where it is moved is basically it came uh, out of the ER and it moved to the where it moved to the Golgi it moved to the Golgi okay it moved to the Golgi and in Golgi the invariant chain is degraded means this invariant chain okay now uh, if we if I clear uh, your concept uh, see this invariant chain uh, this invariant chain okay this invariant chain is degraded in Golgi this invariant chain is degraded this is class 2 MSC okay and this invariant chain is degraded just only a fragment is left and this is known as clip fragment C L I P clip clip means what class two associated invariant chain polypeptide class two associated invariant chain peptide peptide sorry class two associated invariant chain peptide is clip okay so this fragmented uh, invariant chain is known as what clip C L I P okay C L I P clip C for class two associated I for invariant chain P for peptide clip okay now next and this clip and here the antigen is move here and it get fragmented okay it get fragmented into many particles it get fragmented into many particles here okay fragmented and this fragmented antigen is came here and basically this was taken up by the exogenous okay exogenous antigen is taken up and degraded fragment rotates to endocytic pathway and this fragmented is taken up here and it rotates to the root rooted to the endocytic pathway to the plasma membrane so the pm okay so this is uh, how the class 2 msc work if you have any doubt then ask me in the comment section so this is our class 2 msc so please uh, i just read, read read this point class 2 msc bind first invariant chain blocking it okay blocking it uh, uh blocking of endogenous antigen okay uh, so that endogenous antigen can't get uh, attached there so it was blocked by the invariant chain and then it rooted through golgi to endocytic pathway compartment then invariant chain is degraded it degrade and clip fragment are generated and exogenous antigen then taken up taken up and degraded fragment rooted to endocytic pathway and then it transported to plasma membrane where it is where it is get processed process so students this is all about today's lecture in details how the presentation processing is done on class one and class two msc so this is for today's lecture please share and subscribe my channel i will provide you every video which is very very important from examination point of view for csir and please share please share and subscribe so meet you tomorrow till then thank you and good night